The housing market in Northern California has been one of the hottest in the nation. Real estate agents are taking a creative and high-tech approach to standing out from the competition. CCTV's Mark New explains. Doug Canning travels to the San Francisco Bay Area town of Corte Madero, carrying a black suitcase to meet his next client. The house is on 2.2 acres. Okay. Real estate agent Rika Sacalario has a special attachment to this four and a half million dollar home because she remodeled it years ago. That's why she's going all out to make sure this hidden gem is captured in all its glory. That means using a drone that can both capture high resolution video and stunning still photos too. I wouldn't list a property today without a drone. It sells the property, especially a unique property like this that's hidden and very private. Sacalario says the drone not only helps her sell at higher prices, but also saves her from having to rent a helicopter for thousands of dollars. Videographer Canning started using a Chinese-made drone several months ago and is in heavy demand, with half of his video jobs now requiring the use of his drone. Canning's drone setup is essentially a quadcopter with a GoPro for a total cost of only about $1,500. That price is likely to fall even further. He says it's easy to control and that even if it runs out of batteries, it will land on its own. I knew it would make a huge difference because if I've done quite a few real estate videos without the drone. And if you go to a realtor's website and you look at the pictures that they, some of these real estate agents and companies have, they're terrible. That doesn't tell the story of the property or the house. It works for non-luxury properties too, like this 1,400 square foot cottage that lies in San Quentin, a community better known for having a maximum security prison. The realtor credits the drone for highlighting the beachfront neighborhood, leading to a quick sale. And especially since we're getting a lot of people coming in from abroad, it's, it gives them a good opportunity to see what the landscape and what the area is like, other than just going into Google Map. You can really see the property. Currently, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration bans unmanned aerial systems for commercial purposes, but recently issued a press release indicating changes may be on the way. Canning says he hasn't had any interference with his business so far, and that keeping up with demand is his biggest challenge. Mark New, CCTV, Corte Madera, California.